Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So today is the 1st of April. It's April Fool's Day, but it's also the first Saturday in a brand new month, which means that it's also time for a brand new Mission Inspiration Challenge over on our Facebook group. If you'd like to play along with this Mission Inspiration this month, then all you have to do is to visit the link in the description area below or type in the address that's on the screen at the moment. Now, as per usual, there is a Mission Inspiration Brief which I will show you in a moment, and then I'll show you what I've done with those mission inspiration prompts, and then I'll join you again right back at the end. Welcome, Art Agent Specialists. Your mission for April, should you wish to accept it, is as follows. Step one, cover your page with stamped images. Step two, add a thin layer of color. Step three, add texture with fabric fragments. Step four, add layers of torn paper or card. Step five, glue or paint a focal image. Step six, make marks with your fingers. Step seven, add a quote, phrase, or page title. Step eight, add doodles, scribbles, or zentangles. Your suggested color scheme for April is green, orange, and purple. And your words for inspiration are laughter, promise, blossom, joker, and showers. And remember, this message will self-destruct in three seconds. Good luck. So I'm beginning today's page in my circle journal and I'm using the Bliss Stamping Up set. I'm using that floral kind of flourishy one and I'm using the Violet Archival Ink from Ranger. I'm going to stamp the pattern all over the page and try and build up a kind of repeating pattern, but not being too exact with it. So I'm going to leave that to dry for a few minutes while I clean off my stamp, and then I'm going to cover the entire page with a thin coat of the Tiger Lily Orange. Uh, you can see I've already started because it's, it's a bit of a laborious process, so I just jumped in when I'd already half done, just so you could catch what I was doing and see me just finishing the page off. So step number three is to add texture with fabric fragments. So I'm using the super thick Slap It On from Indigo Blue and I have some fragments of burlap and a little piece of lace trim that I'm going to stick down onto my um, art journal page in a kind of L shape over towards the left hand side of the page. So as this slap it on, um, which is like a super thick um, gel medium, takes time to dry, and I'm gonna put the page to one side while I work on the embellishments of the next step, which is to add layers of torn paper or card. So for step number four, I have a page of book text just torn from an old book that was going to the tip. And I have the lime acrylic paint from Dina Wakely Media, and I'm going to just mix it with some water just to create a nice sort of lime colour wash. Now, I don't know why I put the paint on the craft mat. I must have just had a moment of madness. But anyway, I end up mixing the paint um, in the actual lid, kind of like a, a makeshift palette, if you like, just to hold all the, the watery paint. So I end up cleaning off the stuff on the, um, the worktop and then using the stuff in the lid. So I'm just 
adding it to the page. So this will soak into the page um, without covering totally as a, an opaque paint. So this creates a nice um, lime green color wash. Of course, I want it completely dry before I can use it. So out comes the heat gun. So now that the page is dry, I can easily tear it into the strips that I need for my art journal page. And I'm going to glue the fragments down onto my page using the matte medium from Mod Podge. So I've decided there's enough of the green text on the page now, so I want to add something else, a little bit extra. So I'm going to just grab a piece of cardstock from my stash that's already got some text on it. So I have a, an image of like old newspapers. So I'm just going to tear some strips of that and then add those fragments onto the page also. So I'm happy with the placement of where the card's gone, so all I have to do once I'm done is to bring up the heat gun and give it a nice blast to make sure everything's nice and dry before moving on to step number five. So step number five is to glue or paint a focal image. So I'm going to create a uh, an embellishment or a paper cluster, so I have some pieces of ephemera that were sent to me in Happy Mail and I have a Joker playing card that I'm going to use as my main focal image for this page. So I'm going to arrange a nice cluster of elements together and then I'm going to add that to my page using some foam pads because I want a little bit of depth and dimension. And I'm just fiddling there with the uh, a little image of a, a dom dom domino. I can't even say it today, um, but it didn't fit, so I'm having to trim it out with my scissors. I'm going to add that to the bottom left of my cluster, and then I have a little crown, which you can just see in the bottom right-hand side of the picture. There you go. And I'm going to add that to the top right of my little cluster, and then I'm going to grab the foam pads to stick that down. So now my foam pads are all in place, I'm going to drop that down over the joining point of the papers and all of that lovely fabric and burlap. Now I've grabbed some washi tape from my stash, so I'm also going to add some fragments of washi tape just on and around that because I wanted some of the pieces just to go over the top. So this just creates a kind of nice cluster of, of elements uh, and interest into the art journal page.
So step number six is to make marks with your fingers. So for that I have some white acrylic paint, it's the Dino Wakely Media acrylic paint. And just using the tip of my finger, I'm going to add some blobs of white around the page, just to add a little bit of relief from all that color. And also I'm going to create um, just a, a nice white kind of grungy, smudgy kind of background um, or border around the entire of my page. And of course, to make sure that the paint's all nice and dry before I continue on with the next step, I'm just going to bring out the heat gun and just give it a gentle warming just to make sure that white paint is all dry before moving on. Step seven is to add a quote or a phrase or title. Now for this, I'm using the Tim Holtz, um, what are these called? Label letters. Uh, I'm going to create my phrase, which is only a short one, just using these letters. So I have to stick these down individually. So they are a little bit fiddly. They're quite small. and I'm having to use the point of my scalpel to try and manoeuvre the letters into place without losing any on the floor. And just in case you can't quite make out what I've added onto that, I've put the words, all work and no play. Yeah, I'm in need of a holiday, I think. So before I move on to the final step, I wanted just to add a little bit more of that purple colour from the background into the foreground. So I've brought back out the violet ink and I'm just going to add a little bit onto my Joker card just to bring that colour into the foreground a little more. So the final step then, step number eight, is to add doodles, scribbles, or zentangles. So for this, I'm going to use my number eight Micron Pigma pen, and I'm just going to create a kind of doodly, scribbly border all the way around my art journal page. And then I'm going to add some little doodles around the page just to kind of tie all in together. So I've just zoomed in a little bit so you can see by doodles that I'm adding just that little bit better. Now hopefully I'll stay in shot for the entire period, but because I've zoomed in a little bit more, you should be able to see me adding my little doodles a little bit clearer. So that's it, not quite straight, but it'll do. All I have to do now is just to finish off by signing and dating it. I'll just do that using the same pen. And then I'm calling this page complete.
So I hope you enjoyed watching that art journal page done with the mission inspiration prompts for the month of April. Don't forget, visit that link in the description area below or the one that's on the screen at the moment if you want to have a go at playing along with us and the 2,000 plus people that are doing this on a regular basis every month over on our Facebook page. So that's all from me for now. I will see you all again real soon. But don't forget, if you've enjoyed the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, share the video with all your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from me for now. I will see you all again real soon. Bye for now.